Hello friends, this video trigonometry part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched trigonometry part 1 to part 7. Have to find other trigonometric functions. So here it says cos of x is minus 3 by 5 and x lies in third quadrant. We have to find the value of other five functions. If you see all sine tan cos. Correct. And this is the quadrant we are talking about because this is the third quadrant and here we see cos is negative. So we have to find other values of function. So what we will do? We will uh, use our mantra Pandit Badri Pashar Hari Hari Bol This is sine This is cos This is tan and 1 by sine is cosec This is sec and 1 by tan is cos so we have to write this, this and this. Before solving any questions, we have to write these thing and this thing. So if you write these two, so if you write this two, you can solve the question. So what we see, cos is b by h, cos theta is equal to b by h. So now we will take, just take the values, we will not take the signs. So it is equal to 3 by 5. So we will assume this is x by x. That is b is equal to 3x and h is equal to 5x because b by h is equal to 3 by 5 so we will assume that b is equal to 3h and h is equal to 5x so we know that p square is equal to h square minus b square or we can say is equal to h square is equal to 5 square which is 25x square minus b square is equal to 3x square 9 square is equal to 16x square. p is equal to 4x. So we have p is equal to 4x. So now we have p, b and h and then we can find anything. So we see sin theta is equal to p by h and that becomes p by h is equal to 4x by 5x and this becomes 4 by Similarly, cos theta is equal to b by h is equal to b by h is nothing but 3x, b is 3x by 5x is equal to 3 by 5. Please note, I have not considered the signs now, I will consider it later. Tan theta is equal to p by b. P by B is nothing but P by B is 4x by 3x by 3x is equal to 4 by. Now let me put the sign first. Here only tan is positive, cos and sine is negative. So sine is negative, cos is negative, and tan is positive. So this is the value of sine, cos, and tan. Similarly, now we have to find the values of uh, cosec second chord. So cosec theta is 1 by sin theta. Similarly, cosec theta is equal to 1 by sin theta and this becomes minus 5 by and sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta. This becomes minus 5 by 3 because this is minus 3 by 5 this becomes minus 5 by 3 and cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta so this becomes 3 by 4. So we have all the values now. What we have done? We have used this formula Pandit Badri Pashad Hari Hari Bol and we wrote sin cos tan and we now know that sin is equal to b by p by h cos is equal to b by h and tan is equal to p by b. So we were given cos is equal to minus 3 by 5. We know from this cos is equal to b by h. So we have found p. p is equal to 4x, b is equal to 3x, h is equal to 5x. So if we have all these values, now we can find any value and we also use this or add sugar to coffee, all sine tan cos. So with that we, we, we got that only tan is positive, others are negative. 
so we have seen only tan and cot is positive other values are negative now find the value of sin and cos here we have to find the value of sin 31 pi pi 3 and we know that sin repeats after 2 pi we know this so 31 pi by 3 we can also write 10 pi plus pi by 3 correct because 31 31 by 3 by 31 this becomes 10 1 so 10 pi by 3 10 pi plus pi by 3 so 10 pi is nothing but 2 into 5 pi plus pi by 3. so if you want to write sine of 31 pi by 3 this becomes sine of 5 into 2 pi plus 1 pi so we know that sine of sine repeats by 2 pi so we can say sine this is equal to sine of pi by 3 because we know that sine of k pi plus x this is nothing but sine of x because sine repeats after every k 2 pi sorry. sine repeats after every 2 pi so k into 2 pi plus x is equal to sine of x so this is sine pi by 3 sine pi by 3 is sine of 60 degree so how to find 60 degree again we can write 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 3 by 2 1 0 degree 30 degree this 45 degree this is 60 degree. 60 degree sin 60 degree is equal to root 3 by 2. We can get the values from table also or since we have learned this 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2 in 1. So we have used this and we have got sin 60 is equal to root 3 by 2. Similarly, we have to find the value of cos, cos of minus 1710. We know that cos also repeats by 2 pi. So we can say cos of minus 1710 is equal to cos of minus 1710 plus n into 2 pi n can be any value now if we divide 1710 by 2 pi is 360 cut this <coughs> sorry so if you divide this by this what we get is 72 4 6424 so we get 7 so we get 4 point something so we'll say n is equal to 5 because we want to make this whole positive so we'll say this is equal to cos of 1710 plus 5 into 2 2 pi is 2 pi 2 pi is, 2 pi is 180 so this becomes cos of minus 1710 plus 1800 and this becomes cos of 90. Cos of 90 if you see cos of 90 is, if, you, if you take cos you have to go other way around this is 0, 30, 45, 60, 90 this is 0 cos of 90 is 0. So thus we have found this we know that sine of k into 2 pi plus x is equal to sin of x similarly cos in also k into 2 pi plus x is equal to sin of x for tan we have tan of n pi plus x is equal to tan of x thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more Thanks once again.